This video shows how to use the advanced filtering in Google Analytics to make your data talk to you, to make interesting things stand out. Uh, it's a system that can be applied to almost any report. In this case, we're looking at the content reports, a, a load of the landing pages report for this particular blog. And here are all the landing pages. The first thing to do, you may well have done this in the past, is to use uh, the inline filter just to choose a type of page that you're interested in studying. In this case I'm going to look at all the category pages. So we filter by them. We then go up to the bounce rate and do a sort to see all the ones with the high bounce rate. Look at all these. But the thing here is that of course these pages have only got one or two entrances so they're not really significant. Uh, so we should we need to be scrolling on down the report to find ones that matter. This is where the new advanced filter comes in, uh, and this is a bit hidden away. As you can see, it's just a text link here. Give that a click, and it opens up a new section here. So we've still got page containing category, but we're going to add another condition, which is the number of entrances is greater than, let's choose a number, let's say 100. Apply that filter. And now you can see that we've got an interesting selection of pages with various bounce rates, again sorted in descending order. If you're doing this kind of thing, one of the most interesting views is to use this one up here, the uh, comparison view. Switch over to that. And then we've got bounce rate selected, and we can see you've got, you've got various options. It may well have defaulted to uh, entrances, I think, for you. But in this case, we're showing bounce rate. And you can see that most of these pages perform better than the site average, which is what you would expect of a category page. But these two are performing significantly worse. So we now know instantly that we need to narrow in on these two particular pages and see what's causing the problem there. And you can go and look at the pages, look at the sources of the traffic. In this particular example, it's a blog about skateboard history, and these are going to turn out to be visits coming from search for contemporary modern skaters looking for skateboard competitions, landing on a page where they discover it's about events that took place before they were born and bouncing straight off. But basically you can apply this technique of narrowing down to the pages that matter, that have significant traffic, and then switching to comparison view to make, get the better and worse than view, and going off to the pages, getting some insights about why it's happening and making changes. It's really as simple as that and you can apply that approach of narrowing and then switching to comparison view to almost any report in Google Analytics and it will make your data really stand out, I hope. Thank you.